Hey guys, welcome back to Talking Chelsea Blues. Welcome back to another video. Hope you're all doing well today. Before we get into this, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn that notification bell icon on to be notified when we upload. Share the channel out as much as possible, guys. It really does help us out. So, breaking news: incoming bid for Mason Mount. Chelsea interested in Onana and Poch wants Martinez. So, let's start off with um, just Mason Mount in general. Mason Mount, we talked about this in the tier list video yesterday and we put him in the keep section thanks to this little man over here. But, look, as much as I think Mason Mount is Chelsea through and through, he's got to go. He's got to go based on the fact that he's not accepting the contract, he's not accepting, accepting less pay. And if he wants more pay, he can go elsewhere. Right At the end of the day, we're not going to miss out on too much, I believe. I believe Mason Mount has shown us his best. And currently, this is not this is not what we want. This is the argument of, is he good enough? I don't think he is. I think he's a good player. Don't get me wrong, I think he's a fantastic player. But he's not good enough for what we want for the next few years. We need some world-class players to come in. But, Dad, talk to me about Mason Mount. <sighs> Do you think he's good enough for us? And more importantly, do you think he should be getting a higher pay contract of £400,000 a week like he wants? No, I don't think that's justifiable at all. Um, I think that Mason Mount um, is an exceptionally good player. I think he's going through this sort of uh, refractory stage at the moment where, you know, um, there has been a decline in his play, in his pay. Uh, play, not pay. <laughs> um, and basically, I just think that, um, you know, he, he'd be an asset to another club, obviously, if he can get that money, all the best to him, yeah. Um, but, you know, if he to stay with Chelsea, um, you know, how much playtime would he get if we're going to start investing in uh, world-renowned players? Um, so, basically, I think, you know, if he's wanting to leave and go for elsewhere for money, then, you know, all the best to him. But, you know, that's all I can actually say on the matter. So he's been getting a lot of interest from Manchester United. Mm -hmm. um, Chelsea wants anywhere up to, I think it's 80 million, 80 million pounds, 80, 75, 80 million pounds. Man United don't want to pay that. They want to pay around 55 million pounds. Um, I'm pretty sure we can come to some agreement of around maybe 60, mm. 65 million pounds. That I think that would be a decent deal for Mason Mount. I think we, we, if we can get him off our books, it would be good. It would be less money to pay out on contracts. Um, but personally, like as much as Mason Mount has contributed to us as a, as a, as a player... If he wants to go and he wants that money and he's not getting it, he needs to go. Because I'm not going to have this constant problem at Chelsea where players are wanting money and if they're not getting the money that they want then they're just going to play up and cause a fuss because that's what not what we need we want players who are prepared to die for the badge due to who want to really really mm. get into um, the team and really fight for the club but we've got Nkunku coming in as well that'll be confirmed soon um, so Mason Mount's position is stacked you know, we've got wingers. He can play as a winger, but we've got Mikhailo Mudrik, Raheem Sterling right now. We've got Noni Madwiki. You know, we've got players like that. Uh, you've got Nkunku coming in, as I said, who can play that number 10 position perfectly well. And I do think he will suit Pochettino's style. So basically, Mason Mount, go. Just, if you want to go, go. If you don't want to go, then just take the lesser money. I'm just sick of the, I'm sick of the merry-go-round now. We've had it all season, and I just think it just needs to stop. Um, but that's all I've got to say on the matter, but let us know your thoughts on that one. Uh, Chelsea interested in, um, Onana from Inter Milan, the Inter Milan goalkeeper who played exceptionally well on Saturday in the, in the Champions League final. Unfortunately, Inter Milan lost, uh, but he did play exceptionally well. His, um, ball, ball playing skills from the back are very good. He's a very technical goalkeeper, good shot stopper. Dad, what do you think of Onana? Oh, no, no, what's my name? <laughs> Remember, we didn't get copyright um, for that. You know, uh, but, yeah, I think, you know, he's uh, an asset to, um, you know, into Milan, and I think he'll be a great asset to Chelsea, you know, and, yeah, he's a world-renowned player, you know, he's got uh, plenty of pace. He's a know. goalkeeper. Yeah, you know, 
but okay, if he's goalkeeper. Um, it's what we need. <laughs> I well, don't know how many more times I'm going to well, say this. If you're having the goalkeeper, yeah, Nana, then what you need to do is to get rid of um, Edward Mendy. Edward Mendy needs to go. He that, needs to go. This is, the, this is the one I want to get, he, he get was, rid of. But he, he we're talking was, about Onana in general. You know, he was counterproductive and uh, he was very lazy. You caught sleeping many times. Um, you know, when he first came to us, Mendy was, you know, uh, a bright prospect. Unbelievable. Yeah. You know, 28 yeah. years of age. Yeah. Thought he, first, I thought, oh, he's going to be a nobody. First season, you know. He was known as a nobody. Yeah. And he came out of nowhere. At the... But, then, but it, then, then there was that decline, you know. What caused that decline, I don't know. Um, but, you know, having Onana from Inter Milan... Um, would, I be you know, would be class. Um, would be class. Would be. It was just... You know. Um, I think he's a world-class goalkeeper. I know. I've oh, wa- yeah, he's a, he's I a watched him on Saturday and he was he was really good, really solid. Um, ball playing skills from out, out the back, very, very good. Uh, shot stopping, exceptional. Um Okay. But there's also interesting in the goalkeeper from Leeds, Elan Millier. Now I don't oh, know yeah. about this one so much because I don't think he's a go- as good a goalkeeper as Onana, and I'd rather Onana to be honest. Um, Dad, what would you prefer, Millier or Onana? Well, Millier is a decent keeper. You know, got relegated with um, Leeds. You know, when you when you think you know the size on him, he's not as big as other goalkeepers. You know, he's six foot five. He might be six foot five, but, but he's, he's skinny. skinny. That's what I mean. You know, his build is, is small, but um, you know you can't justify height and size on a goalkeeper. You know, you just look at the Everton goalkeeper. He's tiny. You know, he's tiny, but uh, he does save a lot of. <laughs> yeah, but shots. then he's also got yeah. arms like a dinosaur. Tiny arms. Um, you know, wherever you go, you know, there's going to be flaws in all goalkeepers. Just but who would you rather, Ilan Melier or Onana? Onana I would go Thank for, you. yeah. I would have preference to, yeah. Um, so, yeah, you know, if he comes to our club, you know, welcome Onana. And, uh, you know, I think, you know, there'd be... Uh, some work, work in progress between him and Kepa. Yeah, I think you know, it would, I um, think Kepa would start to be a bench play, a bench player because Kepa is he's a good goalkeeper when he's at his he's top when, Kepa. when Kepa's he's at the top of way. his game when yeah. Kepa's at the top of his game he's a quality quality goalkeeper but he's not mm. always at the top of his game. We need someone who can be at the top of the game week in week out. But we'll see what happens with Onana. Um, and let us know what you think in the comments. Who would you rather, Elan Melier or Onana or David Raya from Brentford? That's been talked no about one a bit. Now prime, might have had uh, Noya. Yeah. That's but, uh, <laughs> unfortunately, we can't do that. I mean, he is on the market. He is available, yeah. but I don't know. Um, but let us know in the comment section, guys. Elan Melier or, or I think it's Andre Onana. Whether you want it, who would you uh, who would you rather let us know in the comment section finally moving on into the final news bit of the day Poch wants Martinez Poch wants Lotaro Martinez um, I've heard this going around a couple of times today and over the last few days as well and it's been something that's been on my mind and I've wanted to get my thoughts across I do think Martinez is a good player he's a striker for Inter Milan I think he scored like what 20 goals this season mm-hmm. for Inter Milan I mean Personally, he, I, I, w- I wouldn't mind him, but would it be another flop? Um, if I was to choose any striker, it would be Victor Oshiman from Napoli or someone like that. I don't believe that he is as good as Oshiman. But if Poch wants him, he must want him for a reason. He must fit the play style very well that Poch wants to do. Mm-hmm. Poch wants to put out there. Um, but let me know. But Dad, what do you think about uh, Latado Martinez as a player? Do you think he'd well, suit Pochino, what Pochis uh, wants him? You know, there's a reason why, and a you know, perfectly good reason. Um, I think he knows, you know, um, players, you know, um, in their profiles, you know, their standard of play, who they can play with, um, and you know, have that right balance, the right chemistry. So you know, I, as I said previously. Let's leave it all down to the manager, the buying of players, yeah. Mm. Um, because if you've got a manager uh, with a lot of uh, knowledge, you know, and um, sort of matchmaking of players to make the team, then so be it. Uh, but when you've got the owners of the club just buying willy nilly, yeah, then you know they've made 
many errors, you know, uh, since they've came in. And look where we are at this moment in time. So basically, like I say, we needed a sweep. We needed new players, new manager, most of all, who could um, sort of match these players together. Yeah. And, you know, um, create a dynamic team. And that's what we need is a, a world-renowned dynamic team. Yeah. To play. And, you know, hopefully next season we'll get... Um, a glimpse you know, of yeah, what of what we want for the next yeah, five, ten or years. Third or fourth place, you know. I doubt we're going to get third or fourth place, but don't forget, guys, our Premier League predictions never, will be coming never out. Never, yeah. They'll come out a couple we'll a see. month before the season yeah. starts, so yeah. we'll give you our thoughts As I there. Say the proof of the heating's in the pudding. Let's see how we fare off next season. I'm not saying you know we're going to win the league. You know that's, you know, <laughs> I believe it could be City again, but you know, City does have to go in. To investigation and you know yeah it, but it it is what it is i mean know, at the end of the day i don't know i don't know the truth will come out eventually about what's actually going advantage. on but we'll see we'll see mm. at the end of the day i'm not putting every all my hopes in one basket because at the end of the day i know what happens so the premier league team gets fanned out but they also get put, they also just get swept under the carpet but we'll see what happens. But let us know your thoughts, guys, mm, yeah. on um, incoming bid for Mount for Manchester United. Uh, Chelsea interested in Anana. Do you think we should go for him or Ilan Melia or David Raya from Brentford? Um, and Poch wants Martinez. Let us know what you think. Do you think Martinez fits the bill for Chelsea? Do you think there's another striker out there that would do a better job than Martinez? We'd love to hear your thoughts. But guys, hope you've all enjoyed today. If you have, please make sure you like, okay. comment, subscribe, turn that notification bell icon on to be able to below. Share this channel out as much as possible, guys. It really does help us out. Thank you so much for joining us today, guys. And we will see you later for another video. Take care, guys.